then, you know, all the other teams I played for, the one common denominator was great big men. Think about it, Shaq, Tim Duncan. Mm -hmm. And if you said right now, name the top five big men, I played with three of them. Who's who? Well, you played with three of them. Well, Dream's Talk number one shit. by yeah. far. He was drafted before mm -hmm. Michael Jordan. And no one blinks. No one uttered an insulting syllable towards the Houston Rockets for grabbing Akeem the Dream Olajuwon. No one has ever said a word because we know how great Olajuwon was. Robert Horry is one of the most underrated champions in NBA history. Big Shot Rob won seven titles with three different teams, playing alongside some of the best big men the game has ever seen. And when asked recently who was the best big man he played with, he picked a team and said it wasn't even close. In this video, we'll hear from Robert Horry giving his reasons why the dream is his number one. Stephen A and Kenny Smith provide their takes on Horry's comments, and we find out why Hakeem Olajuwon was so special. Let's get started. And then, you know, all the other teams I played for, the one common denominator was great big men. Uh -huh. You know, think about it, Shaq, Tim Duncan. Mm -hmm. And if you said right now, name the top five big men, I played with three of them. Yeah. 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 Who's, so who's, who's, who's who? Well, you played with three of them. Well, Dream's number one shit. by yeah, far. Okay. We, are, we don't like to talk, nobody wants to talk about it. I think you have these guys who are quiet. Mm -hmm. Think about it, Dream, you know, He's a really quiet guy. You can't get him to do much to say much. So we kind of kind of veer away from him. Mm. We don't talk about him. But to me, if you look at what he put together, you know, defensive player of the year, MVP in one season, mm -hmm. um, all-time leading shot blocker, you know, those things that you look at his his history and what he's done for the game and where he how he started the game. You know, this dude didn't play basketball growing up. Mm -hmm. Went to U of H Imagine where that, you they know. went, you think about it, we all went to college where they're going to teach you. U of H, they just rolled a ball out there and yep. he went to work. Mm -hmm. And so I think what his body of work was just incredible. And he's just a good dude too, man. That's uh, what you have to think about, a good dude. And people don't understand, you play with all of them, so your opinion is valid. You've been on the court <laughs> with all of them. With yeah, them. one with all yeah, of them. So them yeah, too. you got to yeah. respect that. That's dope. Kenny, what do you think? Who's the best big man ever? Well, out of the three that he talked about, what makes I can understand how Robert said that because when Robert played with, when Rob played with us and he was with with Dream, with the difference with G, Dream is able to affect the game in five different categories every night. So everyone talks scoring, rebound, and assists. He did that. He, he could lead assists, but defensively, he could affect the game and also pace of the game. He could lead you and also leadership. So he's affecting a game in six different areas uh, that most big guys could only do. And I'm talking about the greatest of greats could do four. But he's doing six areas, you know, and he's the only player in, in NBA history that could, you know, I think we got that quadruple, quadruple double, like, and that was, and he almost did that multiple times. It wasn't like when he right. did that, you know, it, it was like, wow, he did it. No, it was like, Every third or fourth night, he'd almost have nine or ten assists, ten block shots. Like, well, the, the ability to play the totality of the game mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. ball handling skills, I could see how Robert could say that. Well, 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 let me say this. Let me say this and let me let me get your response to what I'm about to say, uh, uh, Kenny. He's not the greatest center of all time, but anyone who says that, I have no problem with it. Here's the reason why. You talked about the multitude of the categories that Olajuwon was, was obviously very prevalent in, right? Leadership was an issue with some of those dudes, those other dudes that we talk about. There was somebody else that led the way. This is the man that led the league in rebounds twice, led the league in block shots three times. We know over before the last few years, as his career winded down, he was good for 25 and 11. He spent the first 12 years in the league averaging at least 11 rebounds per game, okay? We look at that. Here's the greatest compliment. I believe anyone, and no one has ever really said it about Olajuwon, but it's the absolute truth, Kenny. He was drafted after, um, before, rather, Michael hmm. Jordan. And no one blinks. We know who was number two. It was Sam right. Bowie. When you think about the fact that Portland passed up on Jordan, you know, some people felt that, uh, you know, everybody that was associated with the Portland Trailblazers should have been fired twice because they passed up on Jordan. No one uttered an insulting syllable 
towards the Houston Rockets for grabbing Akeem the Dream Olajuwon from Five Slamma Jamma at North at North Carolina State. No one has ever said a word because we know how great Olajuwon was. It's the greatest compliment you could say about him. Yeah, that, that probably, Stephen, that, that's a great point. At, at no point in any basketball circle have they said, man, they took the wrong guy. Hakeem Olajuwon was drafted number one in a 1984 draft, two picks ahead of Michael Jordan. And I agree with the Jet and Stephen A. Even though MJ went number three, no one says Hakeem was a bad pick because of everything he went on to achieve in the game. He averaged nearly 22 points, 11 rebounds, three blocks, and two and a half assists over his career, and is widely considered one of the greatest defenders the game has ever seen. He also changed how the big men play in the post, with his signature move, the Dream Shake. It's hard to argue against Horry's pick, even though you might not agree, especially considering Hakeem's honors. He was a 12-time All-Star, a 12-time All-NBA team member, a two-time champion, a two-time Defensive Player of the Year, a two-time NBA Finals MVP, and a regular season MVP. Look, the dream will always hold a special place in my heart. What do you guys think? Do you agree with Robert Horry and think that Elijah Wan is better than Shaq and Timmy? Let me know your thoughts, leave a comment down below. All right guys, that'll wrap it up for today's video. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, that really helps this video out. If you like this type of content, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Yeah, who's, so who's, who's, who's who?